you go upstairs and get dressed? Don't rush me, Bernice. I'm what's called a slow burn, first thing. First thing? Some of us have been up for hours. Well, more fool them. Oh, Diane. It, 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 it's such a lovely morning. I was wondering, what would you like a day out? A day out? Well, that's the table's done. Shall I do the floor next? Have you done the bar? I thought I'd do the bar last. Yes, well, you know what thought did, don't you? It's tables, toilets, bar, then the floor. Still, at least you turned up today. Historical sites. Mm, I'm not sure, Alan. I see enough of those when I get dressed on a morning. Hi up. Someone's desperate for a drink. That's me. It's barely eight o'clock. Just give it a cat lick, love. She'll never notice. Just the lady I'm looking for. Come on, then. Don't keep me in suspenders. It's been a long time since a fella braided a door down to get at me. These yours? Chuck them over. Do you know, I've been searching high and low for those. <laughs> I, I, I was, um, I, I was just telling Diane how beautiful the Dales are at this time of year. Any time of year, if you ask me. Best boozers in the world. Boozers? So it's not all just, well, Dales, then? You must be joking. Place is crawling with him. Do you know, I rather fancy that day out after all. If you get a move on with that, I'll give you a lift to school. Don't bother, I'm not going. Not going? Look, lad, you've got exams this year. As if you care. You didn't even bother coming to my parents' evening, you remember? Yeah, and I said I was sorry. And while we're on the subject, I'm not very happy about your job at the Woolpack. Isn't it about time you got down to some serious revising? I like it at the Woolpack. I feel more at home than I do here. Hey, Rod, the amount of rows we have in this house, I can barely hear myself think most of the time. Don't push it, son. You were well out of order last night. Hit a raw nerve, did I? Ollie, we're going to be late. <laughs> you fucking bloody miracle. Yeah. Yeah, he yeah. did. She will get that. I'll go. Is your hand? Ooh. Down the bit. Oh, is that tickly? Ah, how bad are your fingers are? Oh, okay. Round and round they go. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> right, Zach. Morning. Uh, good morning, my little princess. <laughs> it is, uh, well, it's tomorrow, man, is due back. Yeah, it is. Actually, I better get going. Hey! No, no, you don't. You stay here. This is your house. You're all right. Whatever it is, you better get on with it. I'm late already. Are you sure you're going to be warm enough in that? Oh, I've got a thermal vest on. I'll be all right. Well, you won't be walking very far in them. Oh, she's a right bus spot. Any road, I presume we'll be taking the car to the edge of the beauty spot, at least. And let's face it, once I've got a few brandies down me, I could be walking across hot coals and I wouldn't care. Come on, we've got a busy day ahead. Look, Zach, I have said my piece. I want her out and that's an end of it. Now, if you don't mind... Well, hang on, hang on! We seem to be uh, changing the tune to suit the piper here. I seem to remember it was a different story when we first met. As I recall, weren't your husband still living with you? Yes, he was, but in the shed, remember? Because we had both agreed our marriage was over. And like that red-haired hussy. Not only has she got her feet under the table, next on the agenda she wants to worm her way into my bed, and you expect me to sit back and watch it? You were talking twaddle, woman! Huh, I'm off! Look, just slow down. Now, just because you have apparently lost all sense of reason doesn't mean I can't see my daughter. I never said that! You don't have to. I think we agreed when Belle was born that you would go out to work and I would look after her. Remember? Yeah, but things have changed. I'll say this just once, Lisa. I'll put up with all these imaginary goings-on that seem to be dull in your senses, but I will not, repeat, not be dictated to about access to our bell. Do I make myself clear?
Do you know, I'm going to swing for her one of these days. Denise? Who else? She's a right pain in the neck. I don't know what you're doing there anyway. I need the money. You could always get another job. I think Cleany's beneath you anyway. You're such a snob, Zoe. Hey, would you mind? I'm trying to relax. I'm off out. Where? You've only just got in. Yeah, well, I fancy a bit of fresh air. It's really stuffy in here. They're all the same, aren't they? Who are? Truculent youths. <laughs> Go to hell, Chris. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, just smell that air. It's so fresh. Fresh? I can smell cow muck. You must admit it is bracing. More like brass monkeys. There's a right wind up here. Well, you're hardly dressed for it, are you? I know what I need. A little winter warmer. Shall we? Well, do you think we ought to go for our walk first? You know, earn it, so to speak. It tastes so much better when you've had a nice long walk. Oh, I'm not into all that pain for gain stuff. Any road. It's 11 o'clock. Well, it all seems pretty impressive. Like I said, I know computer systems inside out, Chris. And you're happy with my terms? Think they're reasonable? They are. Scott Windsor, has he been told he has no part in this deal? Not yet, but he will be. Good. As long as we know where we stand. Don't you think Tate Technologies has a better ring to it than Dale Tech? You and I are going to get on. Sorry to interrupt. Um, Chris, you don't know where my car keys are, do you? No, sorry. You sure? Positive. Is there a problem? Well, that was Paddy. I'm needed on call, but I can't find my keys. I thought I left them on the hall table, but, um, never mind. Sorry to disturb. So all we need now is a contract. I'll organise it. Nice to do business with you. Likewise. Oh, killer. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I shall be taking that in church next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Same again, is it, Di? Why not? When you're having a good time, I always think it seems churlish to stop. My thoughts are entirely. <laughs> are, um, are you and Alan more than just good friends? We're close, but not that close. I'm a firm believer in keeping your options open, if you can get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> Same again, Barman. You make them doubles this time. I, uh, I, I think we ought to be making tracks. Tell you what, just one more for the road and then we'll be off. That's what you said last time. I, I'm not drinking, I'm driving, remember? Well, leave it here, we'll get a taxi back. That defeats the object of the exercise, don't you think? Oh, don't go all miserable on me. We're supposed to be having a day out. One large brandy and soda. Cheers. <laughs> this is me own flesh and blood, Marlon. Well, I suppose it's a... Uh... Well, it's a very, it's a tricky situation. I thought I knew Lisa. She'll come round in the end, they always do. She better had. Her belly's a dingle. She should be at home with her family. Well, yeah, Lisa is a mother. Yes, and, and I'm her father. <sighs> Stick another in there, Bernice. I'm in need of oblivion. Oh, talking of oblivion, I wonder how Alan's getting on. They're out walking, aren't they? Well, that's the theory behind it, Marlon. But my bet is Alan will be stuck in a pub somewhere. And as for me mum, well, she'll either be sozzled or singing. Heaven left here on my own That I have to follow you And beg you to come home You don't have to say just be close at hand. You don't have to stay forever. I will understand. I do not Maybe wish to spend another second of my life in this pub. I'm off. Alan, don't be like that. I'm sorry, Alan. Oh, quite right. Let's go for a little walk. To tell you the truth, I could do with a bit of fresh air. Come on. Where you going, Di? The party's only just begun. Diane! Uh, are you all right? Just give us a sec. I've come over all peculiar. Must be the fresh air. 
It's gone straight to my head. <laughs> oh, it doesn't have got your head that fresh air. Yes. <laughs> or perhaps it's the brandy. No, let, let's forget about the walk. We'd better be getting back, all things considered. Right, can you make it to the car? I'll try. to apologise for bringing your mother home in, in, well, in that condition. Oh, Alan, there's no need to apologise to me. I know what she's like. Well, to be perfectly honest, I, I had no say in the matter. The thing to remember is, if you give her an inch, she'll take a mile. Yes, indeed. Uh, where is she now? Upstairs, sleeping it off. I'm a broke man, Paddy! I'm impartial, Zach, but, um, well... I really hope you make it up. Impartial? She's living with you, isn't she? Do you know what? I should deck you, really. But then again, then again, you wouldn't... You wouldn't do me a favour, would you? You wouldn't have a word with her, would you? Put my point of view forward. I, I really don't think that would be a good idea, Zach. No. No, 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 you're right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go now, actually, because, uh, uh, because I only popped in for the one. I, uh, oh, you, oh, you check out, then, son. Uh, I think it's about time you were heading off home and all, Zach. <laughs> what for? There's no to go home to. My wife and Nipper have left me, remember? What are you doing? I thought you were in bed. Well, you thought wrong. I nipped into Hotton. Got some right bargains. Got you a little present. Present? Really? To say sorry. I know when I'm out alive. Do you like it? Well, I, I really don't know what to say. Well, in that case, say nothing. Just have it. Get us a brandy, Bernice. Yeah, very, uh, very colourful. Ah, the wanderer returns. <laughs> You're definitely for the high jump this time, Missy. Oh, I can't wait. Where is she? I'm out on a call. In my car. Joking. I didn't realise she was on call. Well, that's because you didn't ask. No, I wouldn't fancy being in your shoes. All I have to do is say I'm sorry. Why did you take my car? Sorry. Not good enough. I haven't even got a licence. I didn't think. No, well, that's your problem, isn't it? You never do. Give us a break. Well, where do you think you're going? Out. And what time will you be back? Late, so don't bother waiting up. Oh dear, a lover's tiff. I wonder who'll be saying sorry this time. <laughs> Shut up, Chris. What are you having? Let's get off, Pete. I spend enough time here cleaning. See you. You know, I think you've got an admirer there, Tricia. Oh, don't be silly. He's quite sweet there, isn't he? <laughs> Don't even think about it. Hey, what's up with you tonight? What? What do you mean, what? I've only said two words all evening. Is something bothering you? No, oh, it's just family stuff. Oh, don't talk to me about family. I've had Zach in here all day, chewing me ear off. Is, um... Is Trisha going out with anybody? Not that I know of. She's a bit of a disaster area in that department. <laughs> You're a very nice man, Alan. Do you know that? Thank you. You want to let your hair down once in a while. Go with the floor, as they say. Um, Grandad, can I have a word, please? I'll get the drinks in. Same again, love, when you've got a minute. And I want a word with you. Twenty quid? But it's lovely, Grandad. Whatever happened to thriftiness? Oh, life's too short to be thrifty. Well, at my age, anyway. Well, maybe you're right. So you're not getting on with your parents. Well, what kid does at your age? Yeah, it's different with our Ollie, though. They think the sun shines out of it. Language? I'm 16 anyway. You treat me like a kid. Well, in their eyes, you still are. I mean, while you're busy trying to assert your independence, to them, it's only five minutes ago they were changing your nappies. <laughs> parents aren't perfect, you know. Tell me about it. Hang on, hang on, I haven't finished yet. 
and neither are you, lad. Nobody is. You'll understand that when you get older. But one thing I'm sure of is they love you and they're doing the best they can. So don't be too hard on them. And cheer up. <laughs> Mum, you really upset Alan today. Oh, he'll get over it. Anyway, it was his fault. How'd you make that one out? Well, he wants to loosen up, doesn't he? He's so set in his ways, it's not healthy. No wonder he's got our trouble. Moody. Turn on a sixpence if you let him. That doesn't sound like Alan. That's because you only see the public face, love. Today, I saw the private one. And take it from me, he had a right monk on. Cheers. Well, and then we all had a good old sing-song, you know. Not quite what I had in mind, but you have to go with the flow on these occasions. Uh, I, I think it might be time to up the old horse of the brewer's yeast, Alan. She's going to weigh out by the sound of things. <laughs> yeah, but what a way to go. Yeah, about time I got myself another girlfriend, you know. Going home to a good book has definitely got its limitations. Well, you're not the same, Alan. It's nothing like a good woman. Ah, but give me a bad one any time. <laughs> Can I have your glasses, please? Bernice! Why don't we have a lock-in? Women only. Oh, go on, I could do with a good chat. Who said lock-in? I did. Fancy it. We're having a lock-in. Women only, love. Men only spoil it. Oh, come here. Isn't he gorgeous? <laughs> do you know if I were only ten years younger? Come on, have you not got homes to go to? Hey, better have some good beer in. Hey, it's not me, it's you. You've got a voice like a fog on. Anyway, open up. It's freezing out here. Don't believe it. What? I forgot my keys. You haven't. I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny, Pete, so he'll kill me. Yeah, I'd rather that than freeze to death. Just had an idea. <laughs> It's great not having men around. Means we girls can let our hair down. Or in my case, take it off. <laughs> not a word about this to the boys. What they don't know can't hurt them. <sighs> Any road blondes have more fun, isn't that right, Cathy? <clears throat> Do they? Well, just look at us, all gorgeous and all single. Uh, yeah, well, the thing to remember about men is expect nothing. That way you can't be disappointed. Mm. Sounds pretty sad to me. Hey, but it works both ways, you know. I mean, I do what I want, when I want, with who I want. <laughs> Isn't that right, Bernice? Always. <laughs> but she always came first. Aww. Not a lot of men like that, you know. Take it from me. There's no such thing as a new man. It's just the same old version dressed up in a designer <laughs> suit. <laughs> <laughs> but you had loads of men when I was little. Yes, but it was just a bit of fun. It's not easy on your own with a kid, you know. You need a bit of light relief. Mm. But that's all they ever were, a bit of fun. Oh, Mum, do you really mean that? Well, of course. What do you think I am? You're a mother, Diane. She expects you to be perfect. Oh, I. I've forgotten that. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I think you two have got a really good relationship. <laughs> I can never imagine getting drunk with my mother. I hope she's back from the dead. <laughs> I thought you were dropped off. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly there. Do you think we should be doing this? Too late. We already have. <laughs> I think I'll give up cleaning, take up housebreaking. Give us a leg up. You see? Nothing to it. <laughs> you go up, Trisha, and I'll lock up. Well, I don't live here anymore, remember? Are you sure you wouldn't like one more little drink? <laughs> no, they wouldn't. Don't be so bossy. The trouble with you is you don't know when to stop. Kill Joy. See you, Benice. Thanks again for a lovely evening, Diane. <laughs> Who needs men when you've got your friends? <laughs> exactly, and don't you forget it. Oh, See ya! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like her. <laughs> Come on, you. Bed. Come here, bossy boots. Oh, you might tower above me, but you're still my little baby. Do you know that? 
I know. I love you, Mum. I love you too, darling. <laughs> Look, I've told you, I live here. She does, honest. I, I can vouch for that. What is going on? Sorry, Miss Tate, but this uh, woman claims to live here. They seem to think I've broken in or something. Someone called the station to report a break-in. That was me. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I forgot my keys, Zoe, I'm sorry. So do I take it there's been some, well, misunderstanding? Yeah. Yeah, I'm afraid so, I'm sorry. I did tell them. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to log this call. Yeah, sorry, I'm sure you must have much more important things to do. Precisely. Hey, don't have a go at her. Shut up, Frankie. Uh, look, I'm sorry again. Why don't you go inside? You must be freezing out here. Good night, Pete. It's all right. I'm getting pretty sick of all your apologies. Well, lighten up, Zoe. It's not that bad. Yes, well, I happen to think differently. Don't you think that Chris has been through enough without having to put up with all this? I didn't do it on purpose. No, you never do. That's the point. You never think about anybody but yourself. How do you think I felt tonight just sitting around waiting for you? Wondering where you were, what time you were coming back, if indeed you were coming back. I said I'm sorry. It's not good enough! You should know one thing, Frankie. I am not a doormat for anyone. Do you hear me? Listen, Save sir. it. I've heard it all before. I'm going inside because, quite frankly, I can't bear to look at you. <laughs>